So this is a six inch setup for the crawler where the camera would be mounted on front and obviously cable in the back. And these wheels are permanently fixed here and don't usually come off unless we're doing maintenance. This is the 225 or 9 inch setup for the crawler and same again the camera will be mounted on front here. This is the 12 inch or 300 millimeter setup for the crawler and again camera would be mounted here on the front. This is the 450 setup where mm -hmm. now the camera will be mounted here on top, mm -hmm. keeping it central in the pipe. And you will have a connection from here to here. This is the uh, 600 mm or 24 inch setup for the crawler where the camera would be mounted here and cable connected from here to here. This is the called the strain relief plate and it's a point where we can attach external strain relief for the cable to give it some extra um, extra relief under strain as shown. Also can be used as a lifting point mm -hmm. for lowering. Ready? Uh, this is the on off emergency stop you twist and release and the unit will start to boot up it takes a few few moments or a minute when we reach the menu screen after a moment you can actually see picture in the background as it's mm -hmm. transparent and we press the select button to introduce the picture like so Mm -hmm. um, we have a facility for USB memory stick or this one is for mounting the hard drive to a PC. Um, so you can choose to record onto memory device or you can choose to record onto a hard drive. This port is for transferring the files from the hard drive to a computer. Mm -hmm. yes. Now you can display the counter by pressing F4, which gives you distance measurement and off again. Um, F5 enables you to preset the counter, or you can zero the counter. Like so. Um, there is a menu where you can choose to measure meters and feet, format the date and time, set the date and time, and also to calibrate the counter, which is usually done in the factory anyway. Um, in the menu of the video recorder, you can choose to, in the setup screen on the record settings is where you are able to choose between USB and hard drive for the recordings. And this one is for browsing the recordings which you can also play back on this, mm -hmm. on this device. 
So over here, on the right hand side, is a dual function pad, where currently we're using it to operate the menu for the video recorder. If we press this CAN DVR button, the LED comes on, and now these buttons are operating the camera head. Pan, rotate, and focus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you switch between two modes when you want to operate camera or video recorder. Over this side, yeah. so we connect the crawler now. So you can mm -hmm. see. So over this side, we have two buttons to control the light power. Um, minus and plus. If you hold down plus, the lights will automatically step up through the settings. And down again. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, the two green buttons are for the forward and reverse for the crawler, and the red is stop. So hit the Green and the blue are for the speed, plus and minus. Same again, if you hold them, it changes through the settings. Okay. okay, so when the green LED is illuminated, these four blue buttons and the two green buttons are for camera operation. These two being left to right, and these two for rotation, and these two adjust the position of the camera to give focus. So I'll now move the head, I'll put the lights on one step so you can see something move. Looks left to right about 110 degrees in each direction, mm -hmm. and the rotation is continuous. So this part here is where the cable is feeding out from the cable drum. It passes through this wheel, which in turn rotates an encoder to give distance measurement. Um, you must always make sure that the cable is touching this wheel when it's being used to ensure that it's turning. Mm -hmm. and you can easily slide it across in time with the cable as it comes off the drive. And over here we have a friction brake that can be just adjusted when you're feeding out cable to prevent overspill. As you can see, it will stop with some friction to make life a little bit easier. There's a handle which slides on here for mm -hmm. rewinding the cable on this part here. Um, all of these connections, um, this is the cable where it goes into the crawler and these are where the camera is attached. You'll see there are some O-rings here, all present. They should always be there and if missing need to be replaced as they stop water from entering into the camera and into the crawler. So over the course of time, the O-rings that are used on the cable will become dry and that means they could crack. So we use some silicon grease, mm -hmm. just a light coating on the seals, keeps them in good shape, stops them from cracking and also helps the parts move together as well.